So in Stat Pro, we have lots of uh, methods for creation of structure. So today we will uh, create a structure using Stat Wizard. So for that, I'm just going to take a new project. In this, you should choose space option and you can go for file name. It should be unique and click next. And here you can go for open Stat Editor. So in this Stat Editor, we can just create a structure by writing codes. For example, here they are telling something, begin building your model using stat syntax commands through the stat editor. So we can write commands so that it will give you the structure. This is something like non-graphical interface. So in this interface, how to get our structure, we will see. So we will be available with this window. And here, before finish, we need to write our commands. For example, if you want to input unit, meter, you can just click tab to accept it and then space and then kilonewton. So we will be considering as kilonewton per meter, you know, so that's why. Now we need to put join coordinates. So you can just tab, so it will come. So just put enter and I'm just going to create my first node and that's why I'm putting one at zero comma zero comma zero. You should not put zero comma zero comma zero. You should put zero space zero space zero. And I'm just going to save and close it. Once you close it, you will be getting that node in your drawing. That node is very small and it is not visible to your eyes. So in that case, you can put shift K to display the node and shift N to display the nodal number. So now we created this node using stat editor. Now you can go back to the stat editor by clicking this icon. Now I'm just going to repeat it. So repeat command we have. So repeat what, how many times we need to repeat like I'm just putting three times, another three nodes I needed and at a distance of how much I'm putting four, four in X direction and then zero comma zero. So only it will be creating you three number with four meter interval in X direction. So that's why X comma Y comma Z, you know, so that's why four comma zero comma zero. You should not put comma here. You should consider space. And I'm just closing it. See, now we got another three nodes. Okay. You can see in a top view. So we have created four nodes. Now I'm going back to stat editor and I'm just going to put repeat all. Repeat all in the sense it will repeat everything. Now I'm just going to put how many numbers? I'm just going to put two number and then in z direction, you know, so like uh, zero, zero, and then, and I'm just going to put eight. So eight meter interval. So I'm just saving and then closing it. Now, can you able to see, we have got another two nodes in Z direction with the interval of eight meter. So you can take this display node to node distance for our reference. So this is like eight meter. So this is what I input there. So zero space, zero space eight. How many numbers? Two. Okay, now we got this result in our drawing. Now, if you want to repeat everything, uh, now I'm just going to repeat this one. Uh, we can go for repeat all again and then how many numbers you need for the top floors. For example, I'm just going to put four. So zero comma Y, you know, so we need to specify the distance. For example, 3.5 and then zero. And I'm just going to put save and then close. Now we got in Y direction as well. So you can check the distance. That distance will be 3.5 meter and how many? One, two, three, four. Okay. So so totally four and in Y direction, we are putting 3.5. Okay. Now like this, you can able to use stat editor to create nodes and we can able to create structure as well. So we just created nodes. We want to create a member. So for that also, we can go for commands. So I'm just going back to stat editor. Now I'm just going to put member incidences. And I'm just going to minimize it and I'm just studying our structure. We have one and two node and we are going to connect it. So first the number of the beam one first beam connecting one and two nodes. And how many numbers you need like in that? Another one, two, three until three we need. So we can go for three. 
so until third beam first to third beam connecting one and two it will be like creating as it is and i'm just saving and i'm just closing it now can you able to see that a beam connecting one and two member and we also getting another um, until three if you want to see the beam number you can go for shift b so shift b in the sense it will be showing you the beam number if you want to switch off the note number you can go for shift n now can you able to see that like this you can able to work in a stat editor and you can able to easily create your structure now i'm just putting shift n back now i'm just going to repeat it now i am just again going to stat editor once you go into the stat editor you can able to like a study of your structure and you can able to go for commands now i am just putting enter and i am just going to repeat so repeat how many numbers you need there is a formula for repeat that formula that formula is n i j n in the sense number of members needed like i need 1 and then 2 and then i i in the sense number of members in between 1 2 3 and then notes 1 2 3 4 4 so n i j number and number of member and number of notes and i'm just going to save it and i'm just going to close it so now we got the result like this we can able to work in a stat editor now again going back to stat editor so i'm just going to put uh, we got until 11 uh, until 9 members Nine beam members we got, so I'm just going to start with ten, and it is going to connect one to five, and then until it will be going ten, eleven, twelve, or if we can go for eleven. We will see what it is. Save and then close it. Okay, so we got ten, eleven, so we can go for twelve, thirteen. So 13, and then save, and then close it. So now we got like this. Now I will try to repeat it. Otherwise, sometimes uh, if you are repeating again, it will be mistake. So you can do again. Now in this file we have got some error, so that's why it closed. Now again I opened. Now I am just going to put Shift K for a uh, node visibility, and Shift N for node numbers, and Shift B for beam numbers. now i just going to like uh, eradicate this error i need to go back to stat editor so stat editor already open so repeat command we have some error so i'm just going to delete it and i'm just going to save and then see what it is now we got it now we will separately do this thing again like a uh, beam number 20 connecting 5 and 9 so beam number 20 connecting 5 and 9 until 20 21 22 23 23 we need to put 23 and then save and then close it now we got it now we can go for repeat we will see repeat will work or not repeat all and i will go for a 4 and we will try this method 0 3.5 and then 0 and it is showing the error again so now i am just going to delete that error and just going to delete this repeat all command so here we got error and i'm just going to delete it and i'm just going to save and then close it we will see the result so this is what the result we got now if you want to connect this 1 and 13 and we must have their uh, our uh, new member so you must go for 24 and then connecting 1 and 13 and we must go for 24 25 26 27 so now we got the members again if you want to connect the 13 and 14 we can go for 28 from 28 from 28 i'm just going to put 13 and 14 and we can go for 30 28 to 30 and then i'm just going to save and i'm just going to close it now we got it 
So like this, we can able to complete our structure in STAD editor, but it takes long time. Normally, you can use it only for a specific project or something like that. If you are doing everything in a non-graphical interface, then it will be very difficult for you. So you can use the graphical user interface. So this non-graphical user interface is not needed. Anyway, you have learned now how to create all those members and then joins or nodes in STAD editor.